In this video, I will show you on how you can download and install Enhanced Native Trainer in your Grand Theft Auto 5 game. So to make this all work, I would like to ask you to follow each step carefully, fully till the end for the best results. And the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to visit the link in the description that will redirect you to my Discord server. Go ahead and verify yourself. After you've done that, you will see all the channels. By the way, we also have a remote installation service for anyone that's interested for us installing something for them. You can pick a package and we will install it remotely. Uh, scroll down after that until you see GTA menu. Here you will see post number three and you're gonna visit the three links that you'll see right there and let's go ahead and open them up and we're gonna go ahead and download right away it is that easy as you can see and the next thing that we're gonna do after downloading the files is open up our grand theft auto main directory folder which you can find in your steam right clicking on it and browse local files it will open it up and open up the downloaded files so we've got our Grand Theft Auto main directory folder. This is a clean version. Uh, I will leave a link in the description to remove any modifications you have made before, if you want. Uh, besides that, let's go ahead and open up Open4. It's very quickly to install it. Uh, just hit continue, hit accept, continue, and then continue again, and it will install it. I've already got it, so I won't reinstall it. Uh, then we're going to open up Open4. You can do that by searching for it. And... Maybe the first time you will have to do it as an administrator. Just right clicking on it and run as administrator will fix that. Go ahead and click on it. Uh, maybe you'll need to find your Grand Theft Auto main directory folder location, which you got right here. Uh, after it's loaded up, almost loaded up, you'll see this screen right here. And you can click on what can I do, set permissions and click OK. Close and then you're going to go to tools and you're going to click on manager. And here you are going to click on install, install, it's going to ask you to create a mod folder, which you are going to do, and you're going to install this also. If you've already done this, obviously you don't need to redo that. Then we're going to go to the script to view folder, we're going to go to the bin folder, we're going to select the two files that I select, and we're going to drag and drop them right in this folder next to it, and we're going to replace it if it's already there, because these are the updated files. Then we're going to go back, and then we're going to go to the third folder, which is the trainer itself, and we're going to select the two files, the folder and file that I've selected, and we're going to drag and drop it in the game folder. That's how easy it is, folks. And now I'm going to demonstrate quickly that it's working by starting up the game. So in game, all you have to do is hit F4 and there you go. And now you can go ahead and enjoy your menu. That being said, this video has come to an end. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave me some feedback. Thank you all for watching and have a great day. Goodbye.